In April, I attended a native vegetation and fire management planning workshop at the Perseverance Hall, about 35 kilometres north of Toowoomba. This workshop was organised and run by the Queensland Fire and Biodiversity Consortium and Healthy Land and Water, funded through the Australian Government's National Land Care Program. About 30 different landholders learnt more about the management of fire through developing property maps and management plans for our properties. We also got great input from stakeholders from the local Ravensbourne Land Care Group, Peachy Rural Fire Service volunteers and QFES officers from across South East Queensland. As landholders, we were given aerial maps detailing our own land areas under various criteria, including contours, grazing land management and soil types, regulated vegetation, bushfire vegetation hazard class, regional ecosystems pre-clearing extent. From the various aerial mapping, a final regional ecosystems map was produced detailing the biodiversity status of the existing vegetation in areas across our designated land areas. These regional ecosystems were to be treated as a guide only, as the satellite resolution images are somewhat limited. Our regional ecosystem map of our land area confirmed our general understanding of what we had observed over our years monitoring the bushfire risk to this land. Finally, we were provided with fire management guidelines relating to the different identified regional ecosystems of our land. These guidelines were based on five factors, season, intensity, interval, strategy and issues. For the upper escarpment land opposite the Mount Lofty suburb, fire management guidelines suggested burning summer to autumn with a low intensity burn every three to six years, aiming for a 40 to 60% mosaic burn. The focus of the burn would be the control of weeds in the shrubby understory by burning only where sufficient subsoil moisture to maintain ground litter and fallen timber habitats. For the lower escarpment land down in the valley along Jones's Road, fire management guidelines suggested burning in summer to winter with a low to moderate intensity burn every four to 15 years, aiming for a 40 to 60% mosaic burn. The focus of the burn was the same, the control of weeds in the shrubby understory of, by burning only where sufficient subsoil moisture to maintain ground litter. I learned a lot from various contributions over the day, from the local landholders and QRFS volunteers, these locals have had dec decades of experience in managing the bushfire risk in our forested escarpment landscape. It became clearer here that hazard reduction burning is not considered by locals as a primary land management strategy. The issues are the steep terrain, the variable wind conditions, the limited window for burning and the pr promotion of weed growth from burning, and particularly lantana. The alternative land management suggested including livestock and manual, chemical or mechanical clearing, fire breaks and fire trails. Locals said these should be preferred strategies for our escarpment.